Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video and in this video we will talk about what is GitHub Copilot. We will see the demo of GitHub Copilot and we will uh, see how it can enhance the developer productivity and experience. So let's start. So starting with what is GitHub Copilot, it is an AI powered coding assistant tool developed by GitHub and OpenAI. So uh, to use GitHub Copilot, you need uh, IDs. Uh, some of the popular IDs are VS Code, JetBrains, NeoVim. Uh, preferred here is VS Code. So beyond code suggestions, uh, so you might have seen Salesforce specific tools as well that uh, provides auto completion of codes and code su suggestions. But GitHub Copilot offers more advanced features like MCP server integration, uh, a model picker you can choose which AI model to or LLM model to use, and then an agent mode. So we will see all of this when we uh, go through the demo, but this is like the speciality of GitHub Copilot for MCP server integration. I'll create a separate video. So do subscribe to my channel and I'll uh, post that uh, after this. So now GitHub Copilot enables engineers to move faster, minimize manual efforts and focus on delivering high impact work. Uh, why using AI tools like GitHub Copilot matters today? So in um, the company that you might be working in also might be doing that. So what, so if the company is investing so heavy in AI, they expect real business impact. What are the business impact they expect? They expect a faster time to market. So the same thing that uh, previ previously used to take, let's say one month should now take at least two weeks. Uh, because with AI, you, you can use it to write your code faster. You can use it to improve your coding quality, uh, find out the coding patterns. So companies are also invest, uh, focusing on return ROI, return on investment. So tools like Copilot boost individual pro uh, productivity and uh, compounding team output. That is the reason that is why you will have faster uh, TTM. So uh, if you're not using AI tools, you are risking falling behind both as a developer as an organization so uh in my organization as well uh ai has become like uh, uh you use ai in your day-to-day -day task and if you're not using you are missing out and um we uh has made our teams uh, very productive in my organization so i suggest like uh, uh, investing some time learning ai and using these tools now, will AI replace your job? So I would say AI is not AI will not replace your job. It's not about replacing developers. It's about empowering them. Uh, as I said, like the main goal here should be using AI as your co-pilot and uh, uh, increasing your productivity, uh, improving TTM time to market and uh, using AI for non-productive tasks what I feel. So uh, you sh your time should only be spent in productive tasks which require human intervention. Things that are repetitive uh, should be done by AI now. And uh, uh, you don't need to worry that AI will replace your job soon. It's just like uh, learn. It's we are in that part of the era where we should learn AI. We should embrace it and use it uh, to empower ourselves. Now let's straight away head to the GitHub Copilot demo on my VS code. So I'll be using uh, VS code as my IDE. So uh, firstly, before use, using GitHub Copilot, you need to check if uh, your VS code is properly updated to the latest version. So uh, there are specific specific versions of which the GitHub Copilot support and you should check that your VS code is updated. Now go to extensions and type GitHub Copilot. So now you'll be able to see one extension, GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat. So install both these extensions. So once you install them, just restart your VS code. And then at the top, you will see this GitHub Copilot logo. Now uh, click on this arrow and click on open chat. So now uh, since I have already completed uh, uh, my sign up, so that is why it's showing this page. Otherwise, it will ask you to sign in. 
So after you have signed in, uh, you'll uh, you can sign in. You'll get some basic uh, limits. So I have this basic limits for me. So if you're using the enterprise version, you don't won't have such limits. But like for a free version, there are specific limits. So now let's explore the GitHub Copilot. So uh, you can see here that we have three modes: ask, edit, and agent. So ask is like just you want to get to know something uh, from the Copilot. Edit is like uh, you want it to edit a specific file. Um, you can give it a context, and then it can edit. And then we have the agent mode. Agent mode is like the speciality of the GitHub Copilot. You provide it. You provide it with a prompt, and what it will do is it will just uh, perform those necessary tasks from the prompt, and it will act as an agent. So, um, so first, what you need to do is like in your uh, repo. Create the dot GitHub folder. You need to create this folder. Within it, create a file with the name Copilot hyphen instructions dot md. So th this file you need to create. So now uh, you have created the Git Copilot instructions dot md. Uh, just uh, you can type your instructions that you. Are a coding assistant that helps write code in Python, or uh, I'd say that helps write code in JavaScript. So now, by default, what would happen is like uh, the Copilot, whenever it runs, it will take these instructions into count. So what I'll do is I'll close this and I'll say that, uh, "Hey, how are you?" So now it says that I'm here to help you with your JavaScript coding or Salesforce project needs. And if you open this, it has used this Copilot instructions.md. So whatever instructions you add here, it will automatically take it, and uh, then it will follow those instructions. Now uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, ask it. Okay. So now what I, I'll give it a task. So what I'll do is create a LWC component, which acts, which is a basic calculator. So I have given it a prompt that create a LWC component, which is a basic calculator, does addition and subtraction. So let's see what it does. So it is creating a basic calculator in my directory, and within seconds, it has created the JavaScript file. The HTML file and the JS file. Awesome. So, so if as a beginner, so if you had created this component, it would have took you around one hour at least, right? So now with this, just it takes around a few minutes. So I'll just click on keep and I'll just go through the code to see if it's actually the working. So we have lightning input, we have lightning buttons, and we have uh, this. And if I go to the JavaScript as well, it has the basic calculator, and it creates the track, and it creates all the functions. Awesome. This looks super. So uh, this agent mode will help you in optimizing your code. And like uh, this uh, Copilot will help you in creating new components and doing your task in a super fast manner. Okay, now what I need to do is I just added subtraction and addition here, right? So what I'll do here is I can give add context. So what add context means is like I can provide more files to the Copilot, and Copilot will use those files to uh, do the necessary actions. So uh, it's more like a rag approach. So how you can do is you can either click on here or you can do a drag and drop. So I can click here and I can just do a drag and drop. So now it has three files in context. So wh whatever file you have already open, so it takes that in on context. If I close it, you can see the JavaScript file is closed now. So I'll close all the three files. Now I'll just drag and drop the JS file. Awesome. So now I'll ask it add the multi application and division code 
as well and it will do it so let's see so it's modifying all the files and so it added buttons for multiplication and division and if i check the js code as well it added for multiplication and division awesome so within a few seconds i was able to code the calculator component in lwc isn't this good so this was all about like how you can use it to create your lwc uh, the similar way you can use it to create your apex triggers classes batch classes etc now i'll show you one more use case that you can use to um, in your organizations or day to day life so i have this csv file which contains 10000 records so it contains customer details okay so now my goal is to find out find some analysis of this right so what i'll do is i'll just open this and i'll uh, or i'll do it like this i'll just give it a context uh, and i'll add the csv file in the context of the copilot so it will just write a prompt that please pass the csv file and answer my questions now does any customer belong to india to answer your question i'll check any customer based on the first 49 records none of the customers have india as listed if you want me to check entire 10000 file it can do that as well so i'll say that can you list the countries for first 50 records to see which all countries the customers belongs from okay awesome so we have so many countries where they belong from so let's take norway i'll ask it how many customers belong from norway so it found that at least 21 customers belong so awesome so what i wanted to show you that instead of going through the csv manually one by one just give it to the copilot ask it questions from the csv and it will be able to parse you so isn't this really cool so yeah uh, i think this was all for the github copilot demo hope you like this hope it was something new for you to learn in the next video i'll create uh, i'll continue my github copilot series and i'll create a video on how to integrate github copilot with the mcp servers with mcp servers you can uh, use your github copilot for next level projects things like let's say you connected you to your github mcp just from the prompt here you'll need to write like create me a pr or create me uh, pull this pr and uh, review this approve this pr a lot of actions similar uh, similarly we have uh, let's say atlassian mcp other mcp servers exposed that you can integrate your copilot with so stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone for watching